Hey, hey, good. ladies, how are you? Good morning, Mr. Batista. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Have a seat now. Come on, have a seat. You're part of the establishment now, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just checking something here. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. What's so how are you? What's this about? Uh, I'll tell you in a little while. Let me ask you, since you were last here, uh, months ago, and now you've been hired to work with the newspaper. Yes, man. Great, that's great, that's great. And you are... Exactly what you told me, it, I realized it was really very demanding. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But now you're in the com accounts department. Mm -hmm. and you're being but I can always see when I'm passing how your heads are down, and even if I don't debate, you all are here like you're there until midnight. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, but I, I enjoy the eight to four job. Yes, 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 yes. You get it home and your husband is happy and all of that, right? Yeah, man. Cook up some nice food and things for him. You know? Great, man. Great, great. Well, this here is um, the, the paper wants to introduce, uh, but I got to get this thing correct. The paper wants to introduce a gossip column. Gossip. Gossip? Yes, gossip column. Gossip but column. That, that is something like too much of a good column. No, gossip is not. Um, do you remember a long time the Trinidad Garden used to have a thing called Talk of Trinidad? I was on talk, I said, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, this Talk of Trinidad really is um, anything that is happening around the, uh, around the, the, the countryside, you know, the celebrities, uh, perhaps you know, the conferences or whatever, or little gatherings, little, little um, public things that are happening. So this gossip column really covers it covers the celebrities, important people in the land, mm -hmm. what they're doing and whatnot and whatnot, right? So my job is really to kind of um, to do a, a kind of a layout to see what it looks like. So there will be two pages, this, this side and this side here, two pages. And um, for instance, you know, we have a picture here of the celebrities at the Oval Party. It's carnival time, you understand? Right. Yes, yes, yes. And this will be a picture indicating a picture of the Prime Minister in carnival shorts. <laughs> what? So it's like the gossip, you know, what's, what's happening in the country. And this is something about Bunji Garland, Garland, Bunji Garland. And this is something else, um, something about Marshall Montano. And this will be about um, Kessler Band, that kind of thing. So it's the events, the, the, the events. The, the gossip that you're thinking about is the, the kind of gossip that causes trouble. That's yeah. the kind of gossip you're thinking about, right? Yeah, you know, sit down by the reverse, by, sit down by the river side talking the river bad. It's a thing we don't do here in Trinidad. <laughs> well, anyway, my dear girl. And that is gossip. That is gossip. But, well... So this is not... Why does it gossip? Because to me, what you're explaining here, it's like events. It's like events. Where the celebrities are at a yes. party, the prime minister in a sexy short pants or whatever. Yeah. You know, that is events. But events, gossip, events. do they end up no, 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 no. kind of talking about well, you how see, we look bad in the short pants and, no, 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 and it wouldn't be good. it wouldn't be like well, that. Well I would think that is gossip. But that would be gossip and that would be unhealthy, right? That would be unhealthy. So, but you know, the kind of gossip that you fear, I suppose that's why long ago, elders would tell children, you know, please, go outside, this is big people talk. Right. Yeah. Big people talk, right? And they didn't want children to misunderstand. Maybe they were- Because merely conversing. Merely conversing. Maybe, maybe the elders really were doing more than conversing. And they didn't want the children to pick it up. And children are very innocent, you know. They go out there and they repeat things mm -hmm. and misconstrue things. Right. You see? As but you say that, I, I remember once our daughter, um, mm -hmm. Daddy didn't want to take on a visitor at the time. Uh. And he said, tell them, arrest him. <laughs> Tell them I'm resting. Yeah, and she went outside and she said, Daddy, say you're resting. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. You know? Yes, yes. So children do, 
say exactly what you say and you repeat exactly what you repeat. Mm -hmm. So you really have to be careful how you're gossiping in front of children. Precisely, and it, it doesn't do good at all. Okay, so I've kind of make some, made some notes here about um, gossip makes public the activities and the private lives of famous people, right? So this, this actually would be about what's happening to people in our society, what they're doing and what not. The celebrities. The celebrities. Not just simple folks like me and you. Well, simple folks like you and I, we are going to be non-entities anyway exactly. in this bracket, right? Exactly. Uh, but the root, you say, the root, you know, the root cause of the gossip that you think. You have time, by the way. I mean, well, I'm on my lunch hour. Oh, your lunch hour. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is that um, gossip has its roots. The common gossip, where people sit down and they, they speak each other, or they're repeating things they should not repeat, mm -hmm. and then it catches like a wildfire and it runs. And let me tell you something. When you see you hear a piece of gossip, yeah. You pay 25 cents for it. You're selling it for a dollar, you know. Yes. You have to make a profit, you know. And I want to tell you, you know, researchers have said that women are the greatest gossipers, you know. That's true. Okay. But I tell you, when you see a man is gossiping. Okay, okay. It's terrible, you know. Mm. When a man gossiping, I, I, I have heard men already gossiping, and it was like, I thought it's only women that's gossip. Mm. But they don't act, man. Okay. You didn't know that? Well, I, I don't have time for that kind of stuff, you know? Mm. Right? I don't have time for that kind of stuff, right? So anyway, um, that, that kind of gossip really is not, is not good. It's not and good. that is not the kind of gossip the newspaper is? No, no, no. That, that would not be it at all. We would not encourage that. Yeah. We would not encourage that. And, um, but sometimes, you know, like, like for instance, meetings. Sometimes people, what do you call it, um, they, they, they capsize a meeting. Let's say, um, let's say upstairs they call a meeting a meeting. And uh, five of us sit around a table to discuss an issue with the paper. Mm -hmm. And then somebody brings up something out of the blue about somebody else. That's gossip. And, you know, we spend more time trying to unravel the intricacies of what was introduced in the meeting rather than talk about potentially important things in the meeting. Yeah, because we're prone, we're prone as, uh, as, as, uh, as people to grasp. Now there are some tabloids, and I say tabloid of course, we're talking here about um, uh, not broadsheet. Broadsheet is like what the Guardian had in, in its long time days, right? right? A tabloid is more like the express size Mm -hmm. or, or, or even the news size. User-friendly. It's user-friendly. You can, you can open it out and not be in anybody's way. Yeah. Right? What was I going to say? Tabloid. I said tabloid? But what else was coming with that? I don't know. I, you, you are your brain. I am mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're from the accounts department. I have to give an account now of why I'm forgetting things, right? Well, yeah, let me hear. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. We were going to talk about tabloid. Yes. What, the size of the, the newspaper? Madam, you have completely uh, bowled me over. I have forgotten what I was going to say. What? I bowl you over? In the sense that I'm, you, you've knocked my, my stumps apart. How come? Well, if I tell you, you might start a gossip, you know. <laughs> If I tell you, it might just... Okay, yeah, boss. Yeah, we will, we'll keep it on with it. If I tell you, we might just start a gossip, right? We don't want that. Enough okay. in, all you have enough on the papers there already. Yes, sir. We don't want to add to it. Uh, um, one, of the things, one of the things I was going to say, really, is that gossip, the common gossip that people are prone to, they say that usually... Jealousy and envy is at the root of this thing. Mm -hmm. Jealousy and envy can start a it's gossip. Speaking. It can start it. Now there's a difference between gossip that might be just 
it's no longer you can call it constructive. If somebody says, you know, I need to tell you something about a person, but it is not that you should spread it, but that it should be taken, for as instance, a uh, yes, as a warning, a warning of a person's character. We need to watch that person because there has been some kind of, um, there has been some kind of misdemeanor. Misdemeanor, right? Okay, right? Mm -hmm. And that could be that could be taken out of context. Right. Right. Now they also say, and I, I guess it's true, that gossip in the workplace can cause a lot of trouble. Assuming that we have a, an employee, let's say down in the shop in the back, where the paper is assembled. Ah. Right. Yes. Assuming that um, this person has, let's say, uh, a prison record, but the establishment wants to give that person an opportunity mm. to perform, to be reformed. Yeah. But you're spreading the news and you're gossiping about the man's past, and you are interfering with a man's reformation to get back into society. Mm -hmm. But you're gossiping and you're saying things, and you're saying things that are not true, only because the man has had a stigma because of where he ended up in prison. But now he comes out, he comes with a recommendation from the, police, the prison's commissioner, and he gets his job. And we ought to be helping that person, okay? We ought to be helping that person. But rather than do that, you're, you're in speaking and you're carrying it forward. And that could also lead to violence in the workplace. Yeah, because the man loses his temper. He lost his temper. He's going to lose his job. He's going to lose his self-esteem. You know? And back in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes... But I think people just love to talk about people. I and guess so. That is why, you know, I don't know if you knew that saying as a child, if you don't have something good to say, don't say nothing. That's right, that's right. If you don't have something good to say about somebody, do not say anything. Mm -hmm. But I notice that there are some people who love to discuss other people's problems. That's somebody right. Somebody might tell them something in confidence. Mm -hmm. And now you come to tell me, I don't even know who you're talking about. To me, that's gossip. Yes. And, and, and it, what if I go now and I go to tell somebody else who know the person? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, that's another thing you tell you, that every best friend have a best friend. Yeah. You might tell me something, because I am your best friend. But yeah. I have a best friend too. I have a best friend. You oh, know my God. best friend, I have my next best friend. Might be wicked in the garden. And Louis, you know what that does? That call, that, 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 um, that does, it causes you move from gossip to slander. Of course. And gossip to slander is dangerous. Next thing you get a libel so you know. Well, I you get you. a solicitor letter warning you <laughs> for, for defamation of character. You sound like you you on you have that experience. <laughs> no. You sure you didn't pass through that, that kind of experience? <laughs> Yeah, then a solicitor's letter. <laughs> huh? I, I am, we are merely conversing here. But if you I have, I mean, I, I will not gossip about hey, it. Enough. What? I don't know. You are my best friend. <laughs> 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 and that's why sometimes people are very private mm -hmm. about what's happening in their life. That's right, that's right. Because, let me tell you something, Naman. You might tell your friend, you know, me and my husband had a little quarrel uh, and he slapped me. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And she called her best friend and she said, boy, you have a well bitch, you know. Oh, my. You're selling that for 100% markup, you know. Yes. She, my, the woman say her husband slapped her. You want to tell your friend, mm -hmm. well beat her. Next thing, that best friend have another best friend. Mm -hmm. And then, Somebody come back to her, to the, to the person who told her friend, I 
Hey, husband, well, we job girl. No, that is not the kind of gossip we want in this column at all. I hope not. No, 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 no. But well, you see, I, well, I don't like that name gossip. Well, it's it's it, upstairs. They want to introduce it. It could bring along the reputation of a paper. I've told them, you know, it, it is not the best thing to to put up. Yes, you know? I, I find that gossip business. Oh, I know. I was going to say a while ago. I don't there know. are newspapers worldwide that will carry scandalous reports, right? Yeah, reliable kind. Not even they like. Well, I mean, they run the risk of being, you know, of, of being sued. But there are the money they make because people gravitate, people grab at this kind of saucy news. Yes. Saucy news, okay? And they are. So but, is that you make the cell papers then? Well, in a measure, it could be. In a measure, it could be. But if you have a reput reputable. Um, newspaper, you need to stay within the confines. Okay. Personally, um, I myself don't approve of such a column. I've done the layout. I have tried to to um, make it look as jazzy as I can, but it's only a trial. Eh? It's still to it's still to be absorbed, to be voted on. We don't know, but I want to go back a little bit now, and I was trying to find it here. In 1969, I went to England, and at the time in England, there was um, a popular show called Coronation Street. Coronation Street was a long street, and the, the, the average Briton lived in blocks along the, on, on either side of the street. Mm. And it, um, it afforded a look into the lives of these people along the street, right? So this was what type of people? Middle class, low class, high class, classy? No, I would believe that they were, they were not, not all of them middle class. But you know, everything was common knowledge in every block. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in later years, we ended up with things like um, the Young and Restless. Bold and beautiful, where you where people sat down in front of the televisions and soap they operas, soap operas, right? And they absorbed the bacchanal that was going on. Mm -hmm. They absorbed the bacchanal, and everybody was gossiping. Now I, I I was I found myself wondering, this this seems to be an international event about gossiping about things, and and I was. Strange enough, when I was doing this layout here, my man, my mind ran back to that column called uh, that show called Coronation Street, and I, I just want to show you how easy it is for gossip to get out of hand. This woman comes into a shop, but the woman who is talking to her, who runs the shop, she has been um, charged with selling certain items after seven p.m. It's against the law. This woman comes in all hoity-toity, and she says that um, she must have something. Another woman will come in and accuse her of um, of starting a gossip. And the the woman who looks pretty, you know, stush as they will say. Look at the outcome of it, right? I will show you. I've been coming in this shop for donkey's years. What's the trouble this time? Two ounces of boiled lamb. That's what the trouble this time is. Well, you can't have it. Well, that's a new one on me. Aye, it's a new one on all of us, but you still can't have it. Why, has there been bother? Nothing that should worry you. Oh, then there has been bother. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do for my supper. I was banking on that boiled lamb. My belly will think me throat. But... Hello, no. Christine. Oh, you look washed out, love. Is everything all right? I'm afraid we're shut. Never heard the like. Mrs. Sharp, well, I want to have a word with you. What, me? Yes, and now's as good a time as any other. What about me, ma'am? Oh, the poor soul. I want you to stop going round saying them things about her. What things? I haven't been saying anything. No, you don't want to be so touchy just because your ma'am's gone pots for rags. You see, there you go again, pots for rags. Well, she has, hasn't she? What do you want me to say? Listen, my mother's had a nervous breakdown and she's gone into hospital to get better. And if you must know, I don't want you to say anything. Just mind your own business for a change. Will you, Auntie, madam? 
You want your bottom smacking Miss Christine Alman. That's what you want. Have you ever heard the like? A bit of a kid like her telling me what? Now just shut it and listen. I am telling you. You'd better watch it. Because if you don't, a solicitor's letter, that's what you'll be getting. Right. Did your mother or did she not stand screamy blue murder in the middle of Coronation Street at two o'clock in the morning? Should have felt it kept you up. Off the whole street was up. And Milady the following morning was not the receiving office of St. Paul. Listen, you want to listen to this conversation, you might be called upon to remember it. You, your little... Nina! We're having no language in this shop. Oh, that's right. Take her side. I would. Nobody's taking sides with anybody. That's right. I don't know what's coming to this place. First of all, you deny me my boiled ham, and then you stand here and watch me get insulted. But it's been a right eye opener, this has. Now, look here, Ina. We've enough trouble here of our own without you stirring more up. Oh, you're in some sort of bother, eh? Just like that time in the war with those Russian folks, wasn't it? Well, that's a nice thing to say. Oh, I know. Nothing was ever proven. It doesn't stop a body from thinking. Ah, yes, these are the times when you find out who your true friends are. Mm. By heaven, they don't want you when you're old. Well, I may be only an old pensioner with a bit of money in my pocket, but from now on, I'll be spending it elsewhere. And as for you, you ought to take a grip on yourself, things like that, running families. <laughs> <laughs> things like that, running families. Now, you notice, the young lady came in, and she's saying that you are saying things. And the elderly lady thinks that she, this young girl is out of place. Mm -hmm. But it goes from a charge of gossip and it goes to slander. Mm -hmm. She's accusing the young girl's mother, it seems. Yes, from of, being out in the street. Out in the street. And then she's saying to her that it runs in the family. So you notice where it's going, right? Yeah. It's going in a direction that it really should not go. Mm -hmm. And that's where, you know, that's where we have to be very careful in our homes that we are not allowing our children to get a dose of of awful gossip yeah right we we, we must maintain an equilibrium in our behavior in our in our in our whole approach to gossip takes away empathy of course it takes away the sensitivity hey you know i'm gonna hurt this person if I gossip really and truly, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't want that. And now this poor young girl is trying to defend her relative's reputation. And the old woman feels that, hey, there's nobody on my side now. That's a little thing about gossip. Personal. And you notice what she says. You had better listen carefully to this because you might be called upon as a witness. Now this thing has escalated from simple gossip mm -hmm to a court case that is brewing. Mm. If only people would just learn not to get involved in throwing, what do you call it, stones? Yeah. Right? And the Bible talks against being busybodies. That is correct. The Bible talks against busybodies. And if we repeat in a matter. Of course. It says when you repeat a matter, it You're causes separated. division. Separates friends. Separate friends. You're yeah, right. It's so right. you have to be careful. If you know something and you know what you, if you repeat that and it's not going to be a positive response, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. You know, I, I like Because being... people are sensitive. Yeah. From the time somebody hear somebody say something about them, confrontation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like what old man Sutton Remember that old man who turned 101? Yeah, we got friends. Like I asked him something the other day, and um, I said to him, um, I, I posed a question to him, and he said, I have no comment. I have no complaint. And that's what they tell you, you know, if somebody comes with something that is going to lead to gossip, shut put a stop down. to it. Just shut them down at this point in time and say, listen, I have no opinion, no remarks to make about this subject. I would rather not discuss it. Yeah. Right? Now, people may feel that you're being insulted, eh? When you, do, you tell them that. Yeah, they might feel you're being insulted, but you, you put an end to it. Yeah. We have to learn, we have to learn to really... Nip it in the bud. Nip it in the bud. Nip it in the bud. If you nip it in the bud, it's not going to get out of hand. Yeah. No, you, oh, it, people already had some good things long time, you know? Yeah, nip, nip it, it in the bud. Nip it in the bud. Now, you see this here, really, the gossip, the new gossip corner for more than the curious. I think, I think I'm going to discourage them. 
I think I'm going to discourage management from putting this, yeah, it's, it's from tough. creating this. I find it happy. Yeah, you know, yeah. you think of the bomb and the, the friend. Ah, you, 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 you. No, you don't start a gossip, you know, you know. Okay. Right? I, I withdraw that. You withdraw that because there's a lot of things in happening in politics, a lot of things happening in, 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 on a social scale in our country. Yeah. And we don't want to really... Um, okay, I... I withdraw. Withdraw, withdraw that, withdraw that because um, yes. I don't think the accounts department is going to really support you in court. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the, the accounts department is not going to support you in court at all. Well, anyway, well, it's my lunch hour is over. Yes, and well, I, but you know, you, did you ever did you ever do that story about the, 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 the home that you were going to open? And, and who was the lady that ran away? Dorothy. You ever did anything about that? You were supposed to have come back, you got a job, and you figured that's the end of that. You can still write, you know. You can still try to write. As I tell you, I don't like to read too much. Oh, but it, it will help you to read. I love to talk. Mm -hmm. If you could have a talk show for me, without gossip. <laughs> without gossip, right. Without gossip. Right. A talk show, uh, a stand-up talk show, ah. I could talk. Okay. But... To write. What are you going to talk about anyway? Well, my topic, my best topic I could talk about is marriage. Oh, good, good. And you're, family life. You have had a successful marriage, I believe. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know him very well, you know, my husband. Really? Yes. Where is he? Where is he now? What does he do now? He is talking to me right now. <laughs> Go back to your comfort <laughs> apartment. <laughs> <laughs>